Big headline at this hour, Interstate 84 has now been closed from exit 17 in Troutdale all the way through exit 62 in Hood River. So that's almost a 50 mile stretch of Interstate 84. Later in this hour, we're expecting to hear live from the Department of Transportation, ODOT, about how long that closure could last. And you're out of luck if you were thinking of just crossing over on the Washington side because tonight SR 14 is closed from milepost 19 to milepost 65 near the Hood River Bridge. And we know officials take these closures very seriously, and this closure actually comes as the east side of Multnomah County was blasted with a wintry mix just this afternoon. Jennifer Dowling spent the evening in Gresham, and then the afternoon stopped in Wood Village. Now she's watching out for you with a live look tonight at conditions in Troutdale at this hour. Jennifer? Good evening and cold evening to you from out in Troutdale where we are definitely experiencing blizzard like conditions. I was holding my hand up so I could see my photographer cue me because it is blinding out here. If you are not in a vehicle and you're just standing, you have ice pellets just blasting you in the face. I kind of want to show you a little bit about the landscape. We've got some loose snow here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's sticking, but underneath that snow, is ice. There's a lot of black ice. There's a lot of slippery conditions out here right now, and the road is closed. Of course, I-84 is closed from exit 17 to 62. ODOT has says that there's no word on when that might reopen, but you can see why I'm getting blown around out here. Visibility is low. It's tough for the plows and sand trucks to keep up. We've got a plow truck right by me in this parking lot trying to keep up with all the snow that's falling out here at this time. And it just is really, really cold and really, really miserable. So uh, we talked to some drivers earlier that had gone out on the roads braving this stuff on the east side of the county. And boy, did they have a tough time getting around. There were a lot of people who were stuck. Take a listen to some of their experiences. The snow and ice sent tires and cars spinning at Northeast 238th Drive near Northeast Halsey this afternoon as drivers struggled to exit off I-84. It's pretty icy, pretty hard to drive. Juan Polito Jr. helped to pull this person out of an icy jam near Wood Village. I've definitely been stuck and some guy came and helped us out, so I like helping out. Just a couple blocks away, Northeast 238th Drive have been closed down due to hazardous conditions. Get some snow change. Definitely get some snow change. While drivers took their chances behind the wheel, others may do on foot. It's really cold outside. I can't even walk. Sam some testify said he couldn't drive in this weather and was surprised at what Mother Nature was throwing at the east side of Multnomah County. It's really like crazy. Oh, it's super cold out. It's, it hurts being outside just for a little while. The ice really hits you. In Gresham, parking lots were full of snow and shoppers stocking up on last minute items. We stocked up on some bread. Uh, we have like non perishables and stuff like that. Benjamin Rojas of Gresham says it's fortunate the family car has enough traction to allow them to make it to the store. This car that has uh, all wheel drive, but my personal car that I have is, uh, is only front wheel drive and it's, it's hard. It's so hard to drive. But I recommend nobody going out unless your car can handle it. <laughs> After the supply run, he feels the best thing to do is hunker down and wait out the storm. I think we're just going to just stay inside and just hang out with the family. That's about it. That's some good advice. Stay home, stay inside, and stay safe. Let us do the, uh, the imagery out here for you while you stay in your cozy houses. Um, I want to make a little joke here. Uh, this Troutdale right now reminds me of a frozen planet. It actually reminds me of the old Star Wars movies. Remember that planet that Luke Skywalker was on when he almost froze to death? I think it was called Hoth. All you Star Wars nerds will know all about that. I feel like I'm on Hoth right now, and uh, it's pretty cold. All Back right. to you in the studio. Oh. All right, Jennifer reporting from the planet Hoth out there in Troutdale. <laughs> and hopefully she doesn't have to do everything that Luke Skywalker did, but she's uh, doing a great job out there, of course.